Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, this is my channel update video for, for the week. And there's a lot of really exciting news that I want to share with you guys. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is a video where I usually just share my... Something that's outside of the game, like something that has to do with my life or has to do directly with the channel, uh, but not not directly to towards the game that I'm playing. Um, I do this basically every single week, and those of you that are interested, you can watch. If you're not, then well, you can wait for my next upload for um, <laughs> Monster Super League, which will be very very soon, probably very soon after this as well. So, um, first things first, I. I booked a ticket on the 26th. Um, I've mentioned before in a previous update video that I'm moving to Canada. I'm moving back to Canada, and it's um, it's also not going to be permanent because I'm also applying for grad school in California. So if I if I do get admitted, I I will be moving to California. So it's definitely not like uh, you know I'm not taking like permanent residence back in Canada again. It's just temporary because of a certain. I would say somewhat bullshit rule that, um, or, or law or something that's that's happening in Taiwan. Um, basically, basically all all males over the age of 18 need to do like a mandatory mandatory army service, um, which like you know like it, I I don't. I don't want to like you know just just say it's bullshit, but like whatever. Um, I I do have a way to like avoid that. And the reason why, why I want to avoid it is because I can't afford to spend a year in the army where I can use that year to, um, like right now is a pretty crucial time for my YouTube channel as well. Like I can use this time to grow my channel and I can use this time to go to freaking grad school, you know, um, instead of wasting an entire year in the army, um, doing, doing, um, absolutely nothing. I guess you can, you can learn how to do army shit, but then, then I don't really give a shit. Um, so, I don't know, like, maybe in your country you have a sense of, like, patriotism towards your country. Like, we, we don't have that shit in Taiwan. Like, nobody gives a shit about this country. Um, <laughs> that was really offensive, but it's, it's the truth. Um, yeah, like, like, basically a lot of people are, if you want to continue working here or, or living here, you have to, you have to do that. And I'm not planning on doing that, I'm, I'm leaving the country anyways. And one of the reasons why I can avoid that is because I have a Canadian passport. Like I'm actually Canadian as well. Like I have like dual nationality um, because my we immigrated to Canada when I was really really young. So and I only came back for like you know just temporarily as well. It's, it's basically saying that I basically I live in Canada, but I'm just coming back to Taiwan temporarily for school. Um, that's what I kind of did for my university for, for four years. So now I'm basically saying that I'm going back to my country of residence, um, which is in Canada. But to like, but I actually don't have like a like a house there. Like we don't, our family doesn't have a house there or anything. So I'm basically go, basically going back by myself to um, to live there. And it's not permanent. It's only temporary because I'm applying to grad school at UCI. So I'll need to move at the end of the or at the um, like maybe in nine months or so, I'll definitely need to move if I do get accepted into UCI. And that actually leads me, leads me to my second point. I um, I I got this email from UCI that they told me that they're pretty interested in my statement of purpose and they want me to send them an electronic copy. I sent them a paper copy because that's what they re requested and now they're asking for an electronic one. I sent, sent it to them like three days ago but they were on Thanksgiving holiday at that time so um, you probably haven't seen it yet, but it, it looks pretty good. Like it's looking pretty optimistic. Like things are, things are going well, right? Things are going really well. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely something I want to do. Um, a lot of, yeah, I'm applying to grad school, but it's it's not really to, like, to to be perfectly honest, it's not really to study because I'm not I'm not too interested in that. Because but there is there is something else that I want to want to do. Um, to help, not just not just at school or myself, but to like just um, video games in general. Like what I'm what I'm doing now is going to make video games a respected like subject in the future, in the near future. Uh, once I once I get this shit rolling, um, it's basically a um, like if you guys don't know, like UCI is the the, the the school that has like the esports arena and all that. Like they're they're starting to invest a lot into gaming, 
um, because they see see it as a potential like you know this this growing thing that's like that's gonna this growing field that's that's about to um, that is about to blossom or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I think um, I think I went to them because they're they're a school that has vision. Like I think they 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 see it as like as a growing trend um, as opposed to a lot of like traditional or a, lo a lot of like traditional viewpoints that that see gaming as um, you know it's just just this waste of time you know um, and there's there's actually still people that that think like that like there's actually people my age that think like that it's it's it's, it's insane it's like they they don't they don't understand how much money it can be made just from like video games and stuff um, and how much interest there is you know and they still think that it's it's bullshit like I, I I don't understand that at all at all um, but anyways that's like let's let's not get too negative here um, I'm, I'm like you know it, it was a pretty positive thing until like two two moments ago um, they yeah there's a school that definitely has vision like they they see it as as something that's going to grow in the future and um, you know them saying that they have interest means that they they like they they, they see things from my, my perspective as well um, which means I yeah probably will really enjoy working with them and um, the the yeah the next thing is like I actually just last week I learned something that I didn't know before about the the army rule in Taiwan um, I think of this as a game right? I like everything a lot of things I do like when I do YouTube and stuff like everything is like planned out all right I, I don't do anything that isn't calculated all right everything I do is calculated like that's that's how I roll like I don't I don't um, actually no no that's not that's not true sometimes I do let my emotions get a hold of me but then I I don't really care like when I rage summon and shit like um, <laughs> that's but yeah, sometimes you gotta you gotta let let loose a bit. But usually, most of the time, when I when I make a decision or when I act, it's all calculated. Like everything I do is mostly, not everything, but like most of the things I do is is pretty calculated. Um, now, I usually think of things like you know rules, games, what I what I can do to optimize things. Um, but yeah, I I learn about the actual rules for like staying in Taiwan. Um, it's basically every single year it refreshes. So on January first, the it refreshes, and you can stay for 183 days, and that's what I I did. And they made it exactly so when I graduated, there's um, you can't stay in the country and have it reset the next year. So it ends on December 30th, um, the 130, 30, 183 days. So if I stay for longer than that, I'll need to. They'll, they'll like freaking. Uh, they they won't let me out of the country and I have to like go go to the army for a year if I don't if I don't somehow leave the country on December 30th uh, before the December 30th I mean and I can come back and I can stay for 183 days originally my plan was to stay in Canada for about um, you know maybe like six to nine months if I want to come back like maybe for just one month and and just live in Taiwan before I actually go go to California if I get um, accepted. But everything is like everything I'm planning now is like if I if I do get accepted, um, then that's what what's gonna happen. I'm basically going to, um, you know, have to come back for a month because they're gonna give me my visa to or I-20 visa to to stay in the U.S. and that's like the student visa. Um, so I, I need to basically fly back to Taiwan, stay here for a while. Well, I don't have to stay here for a while. I can literally stay here for a day, but then I have to fly directly from Taiwan to to the U.S. Um, with my with my Taiwanese passport, you know. So there's that. Uh, originally, I was gonna do that, but there's there's like I didn't know the rule before about about the resetting. Like, um, so what I actually thought right now is like if I if I really wanted to, I can actually I can actually um, go to go to like fly to Canada, stay there a week, come back, and I can stay until June. Um, if I get my I-20 during June, I can fly to America and, and just stay there um, for for just like until I start school. Um, but if I don't get my I-20 before June, there's also there's also the danger of that. Then I will have to fly somewhere else, live there for two months, and then fly back to Taiwan, then fly to um, then fly to the U.S. 
So that's a lot of trouble as well. The, there's another really safe option, and that is to stay, like, it's kind of half of my original plan. Um, basically, I stay in Canada for about three or four months or so, and then, um, actually wait, no, I only have to stay three months at most. Um, I stay in Canada for three months, and then I, I, uh, I fly back to Taiwan. I live here for six months, and by the time it's, um, it's September, or near September, like, they, they pretty much, if I get into the school, they have to give me my I-20, so I basically, I'll fly, I'll fly to the US, and then, um, everything will work well from there. But then I have to, like, basically rent a place, and I won't have, like, like I, originally I was gonna put together a new PC once I flew to Canada, but, um, I can't really do that, so I'm basically gonna have to work on my laptop for, for two months. That is going to be a little bit rough. I'm thinking of maybe if I do that, I need to like buy a new laptop and um, yeah, kind of just have two laptops. It's like this, the old one for like other things and then the new one for like when I'm like editing and stuff and um, yeah, things are going to be a lot more limited if I, if I can only work on a laptop. Um, but I'm definitely going to keep working on making videos as well, I'm, I'm not planning on stopping, not not for a single day, alright, not even during my flights, like, the moment, I, I swear to god, the moment I get off my flight, and, um, I get to any place with Wi-Fi, I will make my next video and I will upload that shit, alright? You, you guys have my word. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That, that was a really, really long explanation. So, oh no, I... If if you guys are like you know like, like asking like hey did you did you move to Canada yet um, like and and then I two months later like I'm back in Taiwan then that's this is this is why all right I think I, I hopefully I explained that within ten minutes um, actually that wasn't ten minutes but it wasn't all explaining it but yeah I can make this channel do video as long as like I want it doesn't really matter it's just for the people that care. If you don't care, just want, want to see more content, then you don't, like, this is not going to affect anything because I'm still going to make the same, same content, keep going. Um, also, really, really happy with all the new series that's, that's been going on. Um, I think series are a really good idea for this channel because series help me, like, produce regular content. Like, every, like, even if I don't have a new, fresh idea or, like, some, something that's different, um, for, for a series, I can still, or for any new video, I can still like, or maybe like if I just do stuff like that covers patch notes, news, and updates and stuff, there's not always going to be a new update every day. So the series helped me, um, help me make content, like regular content, like and stay consistent every single day. Like if I don't make anything else, at least for my series, I will, I can keep going, you know. So I'm planning to make the, the free to play pleb series like a daily one as well um, because I think I kind of have to play daily if I want to progress on that account. If I if I don't then it's going to stay at level 1 for like quite a long time. Um, but yeah that's that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it what's been going on with my life. I, I'm I am really happy that my, my channel is coming back to life again, like it's it's been dead for 4 months. But now everything is uh, is working pretty well. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, or I, I don't think there's anything else. That's 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 all there is to it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Um, those of you that just recently joined, and those of you that stuck with me even through the, through my hard times, as as like. Uh, yeah, even even through the times when I wasn't doing so well. Um, thank you, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely won't let you guys down. Peace out.